Hello there, thanks a lot for coming by PosterCentral.com's video blog today. I'm Pete Howard, and boy, it's The Who from 1971, the year of their classic Who's Next album. Wow. This black and white British concert poster is from the spring of 71, right when they were in the middle of recording Who's Next, and when their most recent album was the legendary Live at Leeds. Wow, just fantastic timing in the band's career. Amazing. But for this video blog, the poster I'm holding, which you can see clearly, is only half the story. <laughs> the other half is it's fully autographed to one of the band's roadies, and they're pretty unusual autographs to say the least. So without wasting any more time, let's zoom right in on those. The roadie's name was Willie, and there on top you've got John Entwistle's signature, To Willie, thanks very much, John Entwistle. And then below that, the only conventional signature found on the poster, Roger Daltrey. And here's Keith Moon's signature. It's pretty cheeky. He signed it to me. <laughs> Keith Moon, with his trademark circle representing his drum kit. And yes, I did save the best for last. How about this one? Fuck you. Pete Townsend. <laughs> so, you know, with that one, that really confirms that these were inside the family autographs. Boy, what a set of autographs on a vintage concert poster, huh? Man, I'll tell you. So the roadie Willie actually got two of these posters signed, and I'm showing you just one today. So, once again, I keep going back to just a great time in the band's career, with Live at Leeds being their latest album, often called the best live album in the history of rock music. And this month, May of 71, also saw the release of the first Who solo album. That was John Entwistle's Smash Your Head Against the Wall. And Who's Next was being recorded right now. It was recorded April, May, and June of 71. And here we are, right in the middle, in May. So, man, that's just perfect timing. And by the way, the Who were playing most of Who's Next uh, during these series of shows. This was a sort of a series of unpublicized gigs, you know, secret shows uh, in Britain in the spring of 1971, just sort of a new tact taken on by the Who for fun and to do something different. And uh, this was, you know, it's, it's, it's the most unusual tour they ever did, it can safely be said. And this was the very first show of that secret gig tour, so that's pretty cool. You know, the Who Concert File book, which I often refer to, says that, you know, for this little secret gig tour, posters and handbills were distributed a day in advance of the concert. So, I don't know if this poster had a 24 or 48 hour shelf life before the show, but it certainly wasn't done weeks or months ahead of time, it sounds like. Now, also tied to the secret gig thing, look at the admission price. Can you believe it? 50 pence? In fact, it even says, yes! only 50 pence. So that was another really nice bonus for the Who punters, if you will, back then. Now this gig was in Sunderland, okay, that's northeast England, and uh, that's given there in the upper left corner. And then it says Top Rank Suite, that was a chain of nightclubs and ballrooms in Britain at the time. And Friday, 7th of May, and a Fillmore North promotion. And then down below, I already showed you the Pence thing, it does say late bars and late transport, 8 to 1 a.m. That does require late transport indeed, and no dress restrictions. Interesting. Then you've got the bottom three lines are all ticket information, but two of them are dedicated to the cheap price. <laughs> they really like to, and they, as they should have, you know, really promote that 50 pence. And then the middle line gives three locations where you can buy those tickets. So, boy, I'll tell you, between the autographs and, you know, the secret tour and the great timing in their career, fantastic poster. Granted, it's only black and white with no graphics, right? But it's got all this neat stuff attached to it. And guess what? There's still one bombshell I haven't mentioned yet, okay? If you can believe this, according to that Who book I just referenced, um, on the way home from this concert, that very night, supposedly around dawn, that's right, the cover photo for Who's Next was taken. After this show, the cover photo for Who's Next. And you know this well, the famous photograph taken by photographer Ethan Russell. 
So if that doesn't add cachet, boy, I don't know what does. Oh man, what an awesome legacy for this poster. So many highlights to show you, just great fun. Well, thanks a lot for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you again for something soon.